Well, good morning, everybody. Glad you could join us. Hope you enjoyed the slideshow of memory that we have had and also of the new memories with those well, plants that we have. Good morning, everybody. Have you join us. Hope submitting. you enjoyed the um, If you didn't get a chance to submit your plan, go ahead and continue to do that. And we'll add that in for our next time. New memories it's important that we have that we good morning, everybody. Have you join us. Hope you enjoyed the uh, slideshow in a different way. Go ahead and continue to do that. And we'll add that in for our next time. New memories. So it is one of those things where we just keep it. Bro.
Stretching the foot back. Flex the toes back. Be mindful of your posture. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good. Continuing that full stretch, go ahead and point the foot, point the toes. Go ahead and slowly ease back. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. As you draw your heels in, lift your chest up first, then slowly ease forward. Good, and slowly ease back. <clears throat> all right hopefully you are all stretched out um, if you can or if you have available to find a Kleenex a hanky a paper towel a cloth napkin something that you're going to be picking up with your foot so can't be a kettlebell or anything like that it has to be something pretty soft the idea is that you can grab it and lift it up with the foot when it's time what we're going to do today is we're going to do um, a portion of the long form and our focus is not going to be one area it's going to be a balance um, similar to the old and new memories we're going to be focusing on the movements of what's happening up top but also focusing equally on what's going on below it's very easy within videos to mimic just the movements of the body but that's just one piece. The movements of the body are connected to the mind. Therefore, that connection then is important, not only for the mind, but also for the body. So for today, what I'd like you to do, with whatever material that you're going to use, you're going to put it underneath your right foot. If you're practicing this by yourself, a good idea is to do both. So you would have one for your right foot, and one for your left, but for today's exercise, one is going to be fine. And what I want you to do is I want you to sort of grab onto it, grabbing onto it, holding onto it, so that if you needed to, you could pick it up, but you're going to hold onto it. You're going to mimic the same feel then of holding with your left foot. So both feet are going to be grabbing. Now, it doesn't need to be a grab so that you're trying to squeeze juice out of whatever it is you have, but you want to make sure that you've got a hold of it. That grabbing then activates certain muscles within the foot, sort of locking in, grabbing in. With that feel then, we're going to do water wheel, paint, hands eye cloud, and picking fruit. The real goal of this is when we get to picking fruit that we don't let the object drop. We want to make sure that we're still holding on to it, we're still engaging that muscle as we do hands like clouds, paint, water wheel, and picking fruit. Even though our foot will be moving up and around, we still want to hold on to it. So be aware of any slippage factor. You want to make sure that you're focusing on that horse stance as we take those steps. So hopefully you have something in your feet. If you don't have anything right now, just make sure that you're trying to grab onto something, maybe if you're on carpet or rug. The idea is that that engagement of those muscles within the feet, locking in. With that feel, left hand on top, right hand on bottom, we're going to go on a seven count. Begin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our seventh one. Left hand into paint. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still continuing to grab on to the feeling in your feet. Still focusing on the paint, reaching as you come up. Still squeezing with the toes. Going into hands like clouds, right hand on bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still squeezing in. There are muscle groups that are tightening and releasing within the upper body. We're still locking in in the lower. Last one. We're going to pick fruit, right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lifting up. Marionette. Place it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Take it out of it. If you have a chance to practice that, the idea is that you're making a connection then upper and lower. And the idea is that you've got your first lock. But it's important to remember that just with isokinetics, the weight that you're adding shouldn't stop the movement. The lock that you're producing should not prevent you from being able to lift a leg. So the idea is you want to engage you want to have consistency within movement and making sure that you've got that lock. Something else to try as we move up, if you want to add in, this is just a, a box that I had, the idea, you've got two locks then. Now obviously when you do picking fruit this is going to fall, but the idea of locking in, feeling that engagement then, and then producing that engagement as you pick fruit. With any one of these, whether it's with a box or with a cloth or a napkin, do it with it and then do it without. And your goal then is to not only do the series, but do the series with that feel. You want to connect both physical movement and feel. So those two things are um, your gonka or homework for this week. Um, if there are any questions, please submit them and we will answer them as we still have a few minutes left. Also, if you have any pictures of plants that you've been keeping an eye on, making that connection, please go ahead and submit those and we will add those to the, the wonderful slideshow that Master Chair put together for us. You'll notice definitely some um, vintage shots of our group. Uh, very interesting to see those as we progress but it's important to remember those memories and to make new ones as with growing a plant or eventually when we are able to come back together. So again, if you have any questions about what we talked about here or any experiences that you're having within the forum, um, these live streams are great opportunities to address some of those. And if not, that's okay because I've got a joke ready for you. If you do have any questions um, during the week, uh, 
please go ahead and submit those to the Academy of Tai Chi as we will address those next time we have our live stream. Next week is a Zoom, so if you would like to sign up for that, we will be looking forward to answering any one-on-one -on -one questions that you guys might have. And as we get closer to doing, um, weather permitting, Tai Chi in the park. Um, we've talked about that before, we'll talk about it as we get closer as well. But otherwise, what band, what, music, what musical band uh, makes you want to stretch and be as flexible as possible? A rubber band. With that said, enjoy your week. Thank you for joining us. Good luck with your first lock and second lock, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you all.